Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have how to build faster 2.0 in Fortnite Battle Royale on console. Guys, if you're using a mouse and keyboard on console, this video really won't help you out too much. This is more for people that use a controller. So if you guys are out here using a normal controller and you need to learn how to build faster to become better at the game, this video is perfect for you. If you guys please can, give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate that more than anything, you guys. And if this video helps out at all while you're watching it, please give the video a thumbs up. But besides that, the reason I'm doing a 2.0 is because there has been a whole bunch of new features added to the game, you guys. So these features that have been added are actually going to make it a lot easier and be able to make you a lot faster of a builder in the game. So we're going to cover basically all the new features and stuff like that once it's sensitivity to play on and how to just become a better builder and smart with the game. So the first rule that I said to get better at building in this game is you're going to have to push. You're going to want to not get sit in a comfort zone, stay in a little bubble, and hide the whole game. You're going to want to push kids. Whenever you see someone with a base, try your best to push up on them because the more you learn, the more you, you fail, the better you will become at this game, guys. I promise you that on everything. So whenever you see a base or a team or you hear gunshots, go push them. Start building. Do not ever push them on flat ground. Always build whenever you see people. Build, 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 build. I promise you, the more you build, the more you learn. Okay, now that we have step one out of the way, we're going to talk about playing in duo squad or solo which one is better now guys i'm gonna be honest in a solo it might be better to learn how to build because you're pushing one kid you're not pushing a full team at first when you first start off on building and stuff like that it's better to only push one team if you're pushing alone because if you're playing squads or something and you're the only one pushing on your team it's going to be extremely hard you're just gonna die there's no point in doing that so unless you have a full team that's ready to rush with you there's no point in doing that so i suggest playing in solos that's the quickest way to learn play your solo matches rush every single kid you see every time you hear gunshots go rush them you guys and it's it's gonna work I promise now the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is what kind of configuration do you guys want to have on your controller for you guys that actually started this game later on this year like in 2018 like February of 2018 or January you guys are gonna automatically start on combat pro so none of you guys have to worry about this you've been playing on combat pro you're used to it and you understand that it's a lot better but for those of you guys that are still playing on the standard edition when the game first came out you gotta switch man combat pro is the way to go now the reason that combat pro is a lot better is let's go into a game and I'll show you exactly why Oh crap, someone's shooting at me. Look at that, man. Look at how quick I'm building. Let me show you guys real quick why an example of being able to build fast helps. This kid shot at me first, but watch who's going to win this gunfight. That easy, man. It, it, building really helps, and you got to learn. You got to step out of your comfort zone and practice it. But let me show you guys how to build a 4x4. If you guys don't know, what a 4x4 is just something like this, a nice little standard base. Let's say someone's over there by that tree, and I want to push them. You want to have high ground advantage, so we're going to build stairs, switch to our flat platform, and start building flat platforms of Russia. Guys, but when you don't play on Combat Pro, it's going to be extremely hard because you have to go from stairs, push triangle once, twice, three times just to get to your stair or your flat platform to build this and then go to your stairs again. But to go back to your flat platform, you got to push it three times again. It's just too many button smashing, too many times. There's just a delay on it. Combat Pro helps out so much because you can go from here to here just by pushing L1 once, R1, L1 again once. And that's how quick and easy it is to get on top of somebody and use Combat Pro. And that's why Combat Pro is a lot better than your standard con controller configuration. Now we're gonna talk about speed. So we're gonna build a normal four x four. The way to build the fastest four x four is raising your guys' sensitivity. Now I know a lot of people think, why do you need a four x four base? It really helps protect you from people all around you. Four x four is the standard base that everyone makes automatically whenever someone's there. Now if you wanna build faster, you're gonna wanna raise your sensitivity. I did some research, you guys, but uh, a lot of you guys probably play on four four sensitivity just because when you first start out the game, that's what you start on. So this is how slow it takes to actually build a nice little four by four when you have only four four sensitivity this is the fastest you can go dude that's pretty freaking slow man so what you want to do is you want to raise your sensitivity like i said i did some research nine nine is the fastest you can go without having any errors now the reason i say this is because 10 10 is just too fast when you do a full circle it builds it's spinning too fast for the controller to keep up so what you got to do is you got to play on nine nine and let me show you exactly what i mean by a full circle so when you build a base that's all it is. I just pushed R1 or R2 and spun around and it built four corners that quick. Now if you go to 1010, let me show you an example of what happens when you try to do the exact same thing that I just did. As you guys can see, this back corner right here, this did not get built as a wall because I was spinning too fast for the controller to register it. So you guys, 99 is the fastest you can go without having to take back twice and build up this wall. So 99 is the perfect sensitivity. But in my opinion, I love 7-7. Seven, seven. And when you're playing on 9-9, there's a flaw to it or something high. It's your hit fire shots, your shotgun shots. Now look at how fast this is, man. I cannot hit a shot. If someone's rushing me, there's no way I'm going to be able to hit a shot 
or control my, my, my settings or my sensitivity when it's this high for shotgun play. So you gotta learn how to control your sensitivity. And if you guys wanna learn what the perfect sensitivity for your character is, or you personally, I have another video. This is what the thumbnail looks like. Go click on that video. It really will help you out and become a better player of the game. Now, this is why this video is a 2.0. It's because of the new settings they actually added into the game. Guys, if you haven't heard, there's a thing called turbo building. It's automatically turned on. It basically automatically builds the next piece without having to tap R1. All you have to do is literally hold it and it builds it. So for example, let me show you guys. When your high sensitivity is this high, and say someone's over there at Dusty Depot and they're trying to shoot at me, and your first reaction is to build. When you build a 4x4, it's too hard. If you do this, where you just run up to them and hold R2 and just look left and right as quick as you can, you build the craziest contraction you can ever see in the game, you guys. I mean, look at this. When I'm done with this, watch what it is. I mean, I can get sniped and shot a few times like that, but look at this freaking base, man. Look at this building that I just did in a matter of like three seconds. Super quick, crazy building. So if someone has a little minigun, there's no way they're gonna be able to shoot me or know exactly where I am with that crazy base going on. But that's just one example of why it's better to have your sensitivity at a high rate. So that way you can actually be able to build crazy things like that so they don't know exactly where you are. If you build one four x four, they're gonna know exactly where you are. They're gonna shoot that one four x four and you're gonna be screwed. Especially if someone has a minigun, there's no way you're surviving with one four x four and a minigun. Guys, you're gonna have to build something crazy like that and it builds quick, you guys. I promise you now, raise your sensitivity, get used to it, and you will become a quicker builder. Now let's get into the most important tip to make you guys the best slash quickest builder in the game on console. So basically, it's memorization. If you don't know what memorization is, it's knowing muscle memory, knowing the finger controls and stuff like that on what you have to do to get to a specific item. Now what I mean by this is when you push circle, you automatically know, your brain knows you're automatically on a wall. If you push R1 twice, your brain automatically knows you're on stairs. You don't have to sit there and look at the bottom right to see that you're building stairs. You'll automatically know. Now from stairs, what do you have to do to get back to the wall? You can push R1 twice or L1 twice, but you have to memorize and realize that that's what I have to do. You have to memorize the patterns that you have to do to, in order to get from stairs to a flat platform or stairs to the wall and stuff like that, guys. It's memorization, remembering exactly where the stuff is so that way you don't have to keep looking at the bottom right. You can keep your eyes on the target and win the gunfights. All right, you guys. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is knowing your shapes. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, what do you mean by knowing your shapes? It's basically being able to edit your material and knowing exactly how to do everything that you can do with every single item of material that you have. So basically, like making a window or making a door through a wall or changing your stairs into a not just a, a straight up stairs but a stairwell going up guys you got to learn all these things the reason why this is important is one for this reason right here say you have a perfect circle or square like this and you need to get out but you don't want to go up top you don't want to push up through here and you want to go out only one direction say everyone's over here to my left and they're shooting at me and I want to get out of here instead of jumping over it so they see me jump out I want to be able to build a door now if you build a normal door this is all you can do there's no way you're gonna be able to do this so that's why learning what you can do, the more you know, the better. So say you know how to build a door. Okay, so we have a door. Now we know how to build stairs and switch it into one side stairs. Yes, we can get out that way, but you saw how long that took. There's faster ways and easier ways to do this, you guys. All you have to do is do this. Get these two top and the one corner down low and you build a perfect exit out of there, you guys. It's, it's e that easy, man, and that's why the more you know, the better of a player you will become. Now, say for instance, you wanna close it back up. Now, instead of sitting here going like this, to build the perfect exit like that and you want to close it back up instead of having to look at each one and do this all you have to do is literally push r3 and circle and it resets it so you don't have to do anything so for instance say we have a flat platform right here and we have a circle and we have stairs now say the stairs are in our way or like this say it's like this and we want to switch it all you have to do is hold it r3 circle that's how quick and easy it is for instance this little pyramid that people have been talking about, if you edit this into that, all you have to do is do these two back here, confirm it, rotate it, and you have stairs that quick, you guys. Instead of going R1, R1 twice to get to your stairs, you just push L1 once and it gets to the stairs automatically. Now, this is a lot quicker. And also, if you're sitting there freaking out and you're trying to build things and you're like, oh crap, I need stairs. And you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I need a wall now. Oh, I need stairs now. You're going to have two sets of stairs rather than one. So you're going to be able to build stairs a lot better. And I promise you guys, you got to learn everything about the game. Like, for instance, a window. This is how you make a window. It's just the middle one right here. Um, you guys can do the little half wall like that. You guys can do this right here, which I don't know why you would need this, but you build one little section of the wall. Who knows what reason? Maybe to get out of it. Um, say, say that there's a roof over us and we're trapped inside of this and we gotta get out. Instead of like building a door like this and having to crouch down like this, if you want, you can easily just go 
that quick, that easy, man. And you can actually build your way out. There's so many different possibilities, but the more you know, the better, because in different fights, it's gonna come down to different things that you have to do. For instance, this can work, for instance, this can work, for instance, this can work, or actually, you can even do something like this. These four right here, keep these the same, and then you have this kind of a wall. You can also do something like this, there's so much things you guys can do, man. We can also do something like this and it builds a nice little arc that we can get out. So I'm telling you guys, Google some ways, or actually I'll show you an image on screen right now. Read this image right here and you can see every single way, every different possibility that you can do with building material. But I hope that these tips that I actually left you guys in this video help you out and actually make you a quicker builder. If you guys please can, if this video helped out at all, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, share this video with your friends, and I promise it's gonna make you and your team a faster team. You guys are gonna dominate the field, man, especially with the building lessons that I've taught you today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to sign up for that free giveaway, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.